Good old Delaware. Home to Joe Biden, nice beaches, where I go to school, and business-friendly tax laws, this tiny, often-forgotten state declares itself to be the first, and is located on the Atlantic coast of the Delmarva Peninsula. With less than a million residents, only three counties, and notably being the only state you cannot commercially fly a plane to, many Americans find themselves wondering why Delaware exists at all, and why it isn't just part of a neighboring state, like Maryland, which Delaware shares 84% of its land borders with. To many Delawareans, this is a common and somewhat offensive question. Delawareans know their state is tiny, but do they know why? In this video, I'm going to explain how Delaware came into existence, as well as how it managed to retain political independence throughout the formative years of the United States. So, let's begin. Like much of America, the region of modern-day Delaware was inhabited by various Native American tribes. However, over time, Europeans colonized the land, starting in 1615 with the Dutch, who claimed a large portion of the American coast, which included northern Delaware. However, the Dutch did not yet have settlements in modern-day Delaware. The first European settlement in Delaware was founded by the Swedes in 1638. They stayed quiet, but in 1655, Dutch forces went to enforce their claim. The Swedes surrendered without conflict and left. Nine years later, the English took over the New Netherland colony. New Netherland was split into two, creating New York and New Jersey, and Delaware was a part of this, but British control was shaky, and the Dutch took the land back over in 1674. The English regained control that same year, with a treaty that ended the Third Anglo-Dutch War, and the Netherlands never went on to administer mainland North America again. Now, after 40 years of constantly changing hands, Delaware had become a very culturally distinct region, with English, Swedish, and Dutch influences, and Anglican slash Episcopalian, Swedish Lutheran, and Dutch Reformed communities all influencing the local culture. Once the English regained control, the English government briefly made Delaware a part of Maryland. However, wanting access to the sea for his new colony, William Penn successfully lobbied to have Delaware transferred to Pennsylvania, and Delaware became known as the Delaware Counties of Pennsylvania. Now, Delaware locals were not too fond of these mergers. They already didn't think they belonged to Maryland, but they actively fought against Pennsylvania, and while they conceded to being administered by them, Delawareans refused to send representation to the Pennsylvania legislature and formed a local one of their own. In the end, a compromise was made where Delaware could legally govern itself, just under the authority of the Pennsylvania legislature. This remained the situation for almost 100 years. Changes to this unusual government structure began taking place in 1774, when the first Continental Congress was held in Philadelphia. This Congress included delegates from both Pennsylvania legislatures, the Delaware one and the Pennsylvania one, which also remained the case during the Second Continental Congress. As the Second Continental Congress began unraveling into the colonies writing up the Declaration of Independence, the delegation from the Delaware counties drew up their own state constitution and quickly declared themselves an independent state from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania honored the split and on December 7, 1787, Delaware was admitted to the Union as not only its own state, but the first state. In conclusion, Delaware's existence can be narrowed down to two factors, religion and economy. Since Delaware's economy was so similar to that of the Chesapeake Bay region, Pennsylvania found it near impossible to effectively govern, and since Delaware was so culturally distinct from Maryland and Virginia as a result of all the religions and cultures that influenced it, Delaware was never quite close enough with any of its neighbors to justify conglomerating with any of them, resulting in Delaware becoming its own state. Thank you guys so much for watching my video on why Delaware is a state. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, it took a good amount of work, but I very much enjoyed it. If you guys have any suggestions for geography videos you'd like to see in the future, please leave them in the comments. I'm very open to suggestions. Hopefully, I will get another geography video out soon. But until then, I'll be uploading Fat19 reviews for my loyal subscribers. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and adieu.